So I'm here with Skywalker, one of the bigger uh, DFS guys on YouTube right now. I really don't know anybody doing more views than you right now. I was looking at your YouTube this morning. You're getting over 10,000 views every video. Is that normal or are you are you running hot right now? That's been normal, I'd say, for the last uh, eight weeks or so. Okay, right on. And basketball is your best sport, right? So, Well, I wouldn't, I'd say it's the most popular. Um, I think my best sport is it, it's a tie man it's a tie like nhl basketball and uh, nfl i think it's it's a tie but as far as like when it comes to the props betting and dfs it's nba's the cream of the crop that's what most people want to play for some reason yeah i gotta take it more serious man you've been telling me to and uh i've got what a few days in a row i've made some videos but i need to I need to get dialed in for basketball because you're right. The demand is just higher than any other sport, and it's seven days a week. It doesn't stop. You know, I want to talk about our history and when we met, which isn't it was only a few months ago that we first met, and it's been pretty awesome. But I want to talk about before that, what got you into making YouTube videos about daily fantasy sports? What got me into so I started playing just DraftKings. So this was back in this is I'm showing my age now. Okay, so this was back in 2016. I was just playing DraftKings and I was playing, you know, putting fantasy lineups together on my lunch break. At you know, I was doing security for for Target at the time. And then I started watching. I'm like, hey, I wonder if I can get better at this. Let me check YouTube because you can find anything on YouTube. So I checked YouTube and I found a couple people. I started following them and watching how they broke it down. And I was like, hey, you know, I'm winning on DraftKings. I can do this. So I started out. I went out. I got a laptop, just a cheap laptop. And that had a built-in microphone and built-in webcam. Uh, I mean, my early videos are so cringe, dude. Um, and the hardest part was just getting comfortable talking to the camera. I mean, even to this day, I still get nervous before I do a video, even the ones that aren't live. So... Uh, yeah, and the and the rest is history, dude. So it went from I was doing just purely DraftKings, you know, fantasy sports, to now, you know, as of last season, NBA uh, props, prop betting, because uh, sports wagering is not legal in California. So I'm strictly stuck to doing prop betting. Like I think about myself walking around Target, seeing a security guy, and to just think where you're at now, it's it's funny because you're just a normal guy that discovered this. And you started making content. And when did you start making money off of your content? And when did you realize that it was possible to make a living off of your YouTube channel? I'd say it took me about three years to get a solid Discord going. Um, I started a free Discord. And then I started charging people nine bucks a month. And then, you know, that just really took off. And then, and then we went to $14.99, which, you know, we've been for like the last four years. And that's really taken off. We have 3,100 people in, in the Discord. But since I hooked up with you and you showed me the way, the way how to make some serious money in this game, my life has completely changed. You know, you just said your numbers for your Discord. I also want people to realize you're splitting that with another creator. You don't get 100% of that. So talk to me about where your income was at before we met. And, and basically, I'll tell the viewers how we met. I... I uh, actually got a week suspension from YouTube. So I had to upload on my backup YouTube for a week. And it was just brutal. I had so much momentum. It sucked. It was like terrible timing. And then I'm like, oh, wow, Skywalker DFS follows me. Uh, I didn't know who you were, but I was like, oh, a, a daily fantasy sports creator. So I check out your channel just randomly. Would have never done it if I didn't get suspended for a week. And then I'm like, dude, this uh, this guy is cool, dude. But man, he's leaving a lot of money on the table. There's a couple things, like just small tweaks. And uh, you know, sometimes I try to reach out to people, and they shut you down or they don't respond. But you were cool, and I, I said, hey, bro, you should do this, this, and this. And um, talk to me about where your income was at before we met, and then where it's got into the last couple months since I gave you those tips. So it varies. So during the, the high season, which which we call it, you know, when, when NFL starts and NBA starts and NHL starts, I say roughly anywhere between five to seven thousand dollars a month. And that was enough even for me in California because cost of living out here is the highest in the country. That was even enough for me to to quit, you know, doing that job at Target because I wasn't boarding anymore. And I was making probably double. Mm -hmm. Um and I can purely just focus on the the dfs aspect of my life um so that's where i was at before 
before you were suspended, you know, it sucks that you got suspended, dude, but I'm kind of glad it happened in a selfish way. <laughs> so basically I got you connected to get promo codes with a couple apps. So now you're giving all these picks out every day. A lot of people will see your stuff and download the app, but you didn't have an affiliate link. And it's like, you might as well just have an affiliate link and get paid for the traffic that you're already sending them. So that's what we did. We added a couple of affiliate links to your channel. Um, so what's the breakdown this last month of like how much you made off the discord and then off each of your apps that you have affiliate links for, believe it or not, like this is, this is probably I, it's close, but this is probably the most I've ever made in my life between the last two months. Uh, last month I brought in $30,000, 5,000 of it was probably from the discord and the rest was from promo codes. Um, which I I'm so glad you introduced me to, because it's not like, I'm not one of those people where I'm like, Hey, sign up for this. I'm going to, you know, just for me to get money, if I eat, they eat. So they get an incentive. I like to give back. So if they sign up, I give them a free month of the VIP, you know, just send me a screenshot, what, what have you. And we both can eat in here. And the bonus part of that was I looked at it as where I can sleep well at night knowing I'm not screwing people over. I'm actually helping people is not only when they sign up and they get into the discord, they can also tell my slips in in these other apps. Cause there's others, other world besides price picks, believe it or not. So yeah, since that's been going, it's really taken off. And I even had another one reach out to me. I actually have to turn down some because I don't want a 40 minute YouTube video on, on commercials. But um, you showed me the way, dude, and my life has completely changed. I have a brand new home, three bed, three bed, three bathroom home. It's on the water. It's in California. It's on the water. It's it's very modern. Like I said, two story, more room than I know. What I don't have enough furniture to fill this place yet. So I got to buy all new furniture, which is all good things. And I would have never, dude, never, ever. I'd still be stuck in that one bedroom apartment if you wouldn't have reached out to me, man. Wow, that is crazy. I honestly had no idea that it impacted you that much until we talked last night and uh, you told me I was expecting, you know, some growth, but going from 7,000 to 30, and it doesn't mean like that you're going to maintain that year round, but still that's an insane jump. And you'll definitely, when you look at your year in 2024 versus your year in 2023, you'll over double what you made in 2023, which is so exciting. Like these codes going into football season are so hot, especially going into the Super Bowl too, man. You're going to have a big uh, weekend here coming up, going to the Super Bowl. And man, I'm just so excited to hear that from you because you're a guy that was already putting in the work. You just, you, I mean, you already were doing everything. You just needed, to, you were doing 99%. You just needed that one little, a thing to add the code. And like you said, the cool thing about it is you don't have to be salesy at all. You're actually giving your followers a welcome bonus and incentives and free VIP picks. You're giving them all the stuff and the apps are paying you. So you're not taking money from your followers. You're taking money from apps that have raised tens of millions of dollars from investors. I was doing some Googling today. Sleeper Fantasy raised $40 million. So you gotta you gotta realize they raised 40 million. They might set aside 10 million of that just to go to YouTubers like us. So, you know, it's it's important that we stay connected and when we find a new app, we let each other know about it. Because first to market, you if you're the first person to promote an app, you're gonna get a lot of signups. Whereas once everyone's promoting it, then it'll you still make money, but uh, you know, it's, it's important to work together. And, you know, you were talking to me about how you have a stream coming up for the all-star break where you're bringing a lot of creators together. And what I really love about you is you see the value in collaborating instead of just competing. And a lot of people in this industry, in the sports betting content industry, they are solo, you know, solo entrepreneurs and they don't want to work with anyone else. So talk to me about how like working with others has helped you throughout the last seven years in this game. Yeah. So what I did was I, I you know, for what you did for me, I, I decided I'm going to pay it forward. I'm going to reach out to these guys that have 10,000 subscribers, which is nothing to sneeze at, but I, you know, I'm still trying to help them out. And every, every comment I would leave on their videos are like, Oh my gosh, it's Skywalker. Like I'm, I'm like, like, like I'm the Godfather or something. Right. Mm -hmm. Then they, they'd reach back to me. I'm like, Yo, you know, let, let's get you some some more subs. You guys are putting out great content. But when I was starting out doing this, man, that was unheard of. It was every man for himself. 
everybody was just talking about about every other creator um and that that's just not the right way to do do business that's not the, the right way to grow your channel their channel i think if we get you know you and we get these other people on what i'm going to call it a a uh, summit we can bounce ideas off each other how we can all grow our channels how we can all improve um how we can find edges you know when we embedding right um because everybody's got their own edge everybody's got their own niche um and i i think it's about dang time that we do something like that and i think everybody benefits we benefit the the people benefit um and i just think it's groundbreaking yeah it's super cool and that's a, a big thing i'm excited about with this group that i just launched because we have 80 people in there some of them already made make content and we have a couple guys that make six figures a month in there and then we have a handful of guys that are making over ten thousand dollars a month and then we have probably 50 of the 80 are just brand new uploading their first videos for the first time this week onto TikTok and instagram and youtube and it's cool because i'm gonna gamify it and turn it into a sport where it's gonna be like hey anybody who gets a hundred signups for sleeper this month gets to go to this airbnb i got us in austin texas and we're all gonna hang out for a day and and mastermind and share best practices and the strategies that are working and what's going to happen is it'll make it a lot more fun it'll make it where you have friends in this space because it does get lonely as a creator sometimes you have your followers but you don't have your peers that also create content so it gives everybody a place to come together and then also just those in-person meetups are going to be extremely valuable because people are going to learn just one little thing that ends up helping them scale their business from seven grand to 30 grand a month. And I'm just so pumped about it, man. But I wanted to, I wanted to bring you onto my channel just to, to get you to tell your story because a lot of people are going to be watching these videos that are interested in starting a channel. And if you had any advice you would give to somebody who is just now starting a channel in February 2024, what advice would you give them? First thing, you have to be 100% in. That means you have to be willing to sacrifice time with your family, time with your friends, going out on Saturday nights. Um, you're going to have to sacrifice a lot. If you're willing to do that and willing to make some money, that's be prepared for that. Um, consistency. You have to be consistent. I would recommend putting out videos on YouTube, TikTok, wherever you do it daily, at least once a day. Don't oversaturate it by doing two, three, four a day. Um, I would do one a day. And most importantly, most importantly, and I cannot stress this enough, this is how I earn the respect from my viewers, the feedback that I get, is be honest with them. Don't be somebody that comes on Twitter, wherever you're, you're gonna use your platform and say, hey, we're killing it, we're crushing it every single day. You got to be able to bite that bullet and go on there and just be honest with people and say, yo, we took an L today, but you know what? It's the long run. Come talk to me at the end of the month and we'll see where we're at at that point. Because this isn't a get rich overnight, you know, industry we're in. And I would just recommend you just be 100% transparent with your audience and they will, they will, they will respect you and they will continue to be loyal and they will follow you. Um, and that's been my experience and that's how i keep that steady 10 to 15 000 views i think uh per video is people really appreciate the transparency but be willing to like i said sacrifice a lot of your free time um because you pretty yeah. much have that's all you got man but uh that's what i would say dude that's really good advice i mean multiple things in there stood out to me and I would say, you know, I, I try to tell people before they get into this, you know, is this something you really love? Do you really love sports? And if you love sports, I invite them in. And if they don't, then I say, hey, you know, I mean, you, you can make money doing this. But if you really love the NBA or the MLB or the NFL, like it's not going to feel like work. I mean, I'll sit there and edit a video. My, my in stadium vlogs take a long time to edit and I'll, I'll sit and edit, but I'll love it because I'm like, man, this is so cool. And when I do my free picks, it's fun every day. And my free picks don't take very long to make at all. Um, but but I'd also say like you, you when you said you know it's not a get rich quick or get rich easy. I would I always tell people on my channel that you're not going to become a millionaire off of betting on sports. All right, even if you get hot like me and you on underdog this year, 
they will shut your account down before you can make a million dollars. But if you want to make life changing money, just like you, you literally said, it's been life changing in this video. You need to start a page and build a community and start small and be willing to gradually grow your community over the years. Think long term. I mean, you are seven or eight years in and you just had your first $30,000 a month. I have a similar story where it took me you know, four to five years before I had that first $10,000 a month. And if you ask either of us, of course it was worth it because we're living our dream lives now. And talk to us about how much you love sports and uh, DFS and what it means to be able to do this, not just for a living, but do this for a really good living, getting paid a lot of money. If you would have told me I was going to be doing this, um, seeing as I played every sport, including ice hockey, um, they didn't have ice hockey in California in high school, but you know, I played baseball, big time in baseball, football, basketball. If you were to tell me I was doing this for a living when I was that age, I would, I would have never believed you. I'd be like, that's the dream job. Um, but you're right. You got to have a passion for sports. Um, some you can learn like right now, esports is taken off. That's something that maybe I'd like to learn. But as far as like the regular sports, oh man, you get to cover sports for a living and you get to pay your, your, your bills. You get, you can buy Lambos like, like Cody. I mean, what else, what else can you ask for? Yeah. So you, you have the house now. How do you have garage space in there for a Lambo? If you if you uh if you, if you start hitting a six figure month once or twice this year, I mean, if you peak at that, is that something that that you might think about buying one day? One hundred percent, absolutely. I told you that's my goal. I have a three car garage, so I can fit three of them go. in there, brother. Dude, you're set up, man. You got a nice house. It's not, you need to you need to give us the uh, house tour on your YouTube channel once you get settled in. That'd be a cool video. Just uh just to show, hey, we got this off of the, you know, off of the hard work, seven years of grinding on YouTube and check out the setup. Oh, you can guarantee that's going to happen. I get a lot of requests for that, actually. So that's coming for sure. What uh, what car would you would you get? What would be the one do you think that you would that you would get? I'd love to get a Bugatti. I mean, that's my that's my dream. But <laughs> that's I mean, the they're million dollar cars, you know, I, but would I love a Lambo. Oh yeah, that's the goal right now. And then yeah. once I get the Lambo, then maybe I'll eyeball the Bugatti. You know what I mean? You you know what's interesting is the, the Lambo is so powerful on Instagram and TikTok as well. But I I've used it on Instagram and I dude I've made that money back so quick and it, it actually is a really good investment if you make social media content on YouTube. I don't think it, it's not going to hurt. It's definitely going to help, but yeah, it's, it's an interesting thing. I mean, we'll keep talking and, and brainstorming, but I do think in many ways, when you do get to that point, it could actually elevate your, your income to another point where it pays for itself. And then there's all sorts of other levels and stuff. Um, have you thought about building a, a page on Instagram or Twitter or TikTok? I have. I, I definitely have. Um, I'm just trying to find the time. Because it's it, a lot of it, you know, with 3,100 people in my Discord, it takes up a lot of my time. Um, so I'm at to a point now where I'm thinking about, you know, maybe hiring someone. Listen to me. Like, I'm thinking about hiring someone to help me out with the pics in the Discord. So, so I have free time to maybe work on social media. Because um, I think, you know, there's lots of opportunities being made on Instagram. Um, and I see a lot of other creators doing the Instagram and, and TikTok and those type of things. And I don't want to make that mistake again, like I did uh, before I met you and just leaving money on the table. Yeah, true. And you, you have such a good following already. You could launch an Instagram, have a little community there. And what a lot of my students are seeing, man, is they are, and you, maybe if you hired somebody to help you, you could also train them to do this, but they are direct messaging people that follow prize picks related accounts and they're actually getting people to buy their vip picks off of just direct messaging random accounts that follow dfs pages so wow. and, and i know you know for me personally with my lambo when i direct message people the response rate it, it goes up it's like having a superpower on the on the internet 
Um, there's all sorts of techniques I can show you on if you ever if you ever try to go in on Instagram. But the cool thing is, man, your YouTube is working. It's getting better and better every month. And uh, I'm excited for you. You know, congrats on thirty thousand dollars in January, and I'm pumped to see what you do later this year. Hey, man, I can't. I, I seriously cannot thank you enough. And I told you that on the phone last night. I want you to, you know, I find I look at you and I look at how I how driven and how I was um, at your age. I, too, lost my mom. And that just totally just drove me, you know, growing up single mother poverty and then I lose her. And you know what? I'm going to do I'm going to do the best I can to live my life, to earn as much money as I can to get that security. Um, just to make her proud and dude i mean i get motivated just watching your content i watch every video you put out man just to motivate me and i want to thank you for everything that you've done for me man just life changing yeah. dude it's awesome to hear that it, it gives me chills man to hear that because it's that's what it's all about and you know watch my mom pass away i think about life and you're like you know what's the point of life bro if you're gonna have knowledge and not share it with others and, and like right. All I did, dude, was tell you, hey, you need to do this and this. That's all I did. And, and uh, you know, of course, I have the experience to know that that's what you need to do. And it, it just literally completely, I mean, your income went from 7K to 30. That's insane, dude. And it's exciting. But thanks for hopping on. And I'll be, you know, I'm sure I'll go on your channel. You come back on mine and we'll see. Uh, I think 2024, though, is the year you get that six figure month, hopefully, at some point. I'm ready for it, bro. I'm ready. And then the sky's the limit, man. Hey guys, thank you for watching that interview. I love Skywalker. Always loved watching his videos. And from the moment I discovered him, I could tell he was a genuine dude. So I reached out. I was able to help him go from 6,000 bucks a month to $30,000 a month. And I don't just help other creators. I help people that want to become creators. I help people start from zero and I show them step-by-step -step how to build a channel and then how to turn that channel into money, into dollars hitting their bank account. So if you're passionate towards DFS or you're passionate towards sports betting, I can help you build a page that will print money for you. I've got a group on school and in addition to getting access to a course, getting on my coaching, uh, getting on the Zooms, you're getting connected to other creators like me, like Skywalker, like all these other dudes that I've interviewed on this channel and you can post a question, get it answered by other dudes that are building pages just like you. And it's an awesome community. We have had some insane results. And throughout 2024, my goal is to help 100 people make 100 grand through social media. I'm super excited about it. If you're interested in that, go to the link in the description of this video. I'm going to link Skywalker's YouTube channel so y'all can go subscribe to him. And then I'm also going to link a link that takes you to my private group on school. So I'll see you guys in the private group. Have a good day and thanks for watching the video.